Roses, the flowers most commonly associated with love and romance, are thought to be very hard to grow and maintain, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Like a loving relationship, care for them right, and you can reap the rewards for many years. As the saying goes, till death us do part. I'm in a magnificent rose garden here in the hills suburb of Gooseberry Hill, WA. It's the home of Patsy Durack, a rock star of rose growing in the area, which makes it a perfect place to share some secrets to get your roses thriving and festooned with blooms. So Patsy, thanks so much for having me. Uh, tell us a bit about the garden and how it all got started. We moved in here in 1988 and my husband demolished the garden completely. We built the lawn up here by 15 feet uh, and then he made all the limestone walls with the aid of a helper and he made all the fencing for the pool and then we started planting. And it looks incredible. Uh, how how do you look after it? On a Friday, I have Graham who comes in, who is absolutely wonderful, and he can do the work of 10 people. And then I have a lawnmower man, Cameron, who comes in, uh, and then it's myself. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. And have you got some tips for the viewers at home on how they can get the best out of their roses? I think constant deadheading is very important, and deadheading to 40 centimetres at least, as if you're picking for a vase. Mm. Uh, mulching is important and fertilising is extremely important. Mm. So we fertilise every six weeks and we do overhead watering, which I think is very important for roses because we don't spray here. We haven't sprayed here for over 25 years. We do get things like black spot, but we use go-go juice, and within a week we see it recover. Amazing. And do you find that with all these roses around, that visitors get affected by the sudden hit of romance? I mean, it's definitely having an effect on me. Yes, it yeah. is a romantic garden, I think. And the fact we don't spray, you can smell whatever you like in this That's garden. True. It's a beautiful, a beautiful bouquet. There are so many amazing colours of roses, it's hard to comprehend. What's interesting is that the colours do have meaning. Red roses symbolise love and romance, another perfect Valentine's Day rose. Pink roses symbolise gratitude, grace, admiration and joy. Orange roses symbolise enthusiasm and passion. Yellow roses symbolise friendship. And white roses symbolise innocence and purity, making them an obvious choice for me. This truly is a rose garden paradise and open for the public to visit. For more info, visit our website.